Do not allow your heart to take pleasure with the praises of people, nor be saddened by their condemnation. Knowledge without action is wastefulness and action without knowledge is foolishness. To get what you love, you must first be patient with what you hate. Declare your jihad on thirteen enemies you cannot see, egoism, arrogance, conceit, selfishness, greed, lust, intolerance, anger, lying, cheating, gossiping and slandering. If you can master and destroy them, then will be ready to fight the enemy you can see. Desires make slaves out of kings and patience makes kings out of slaves. Those who look for seashells will find seashells, those who open them will find pearls. If you see Allah, mighty and magnificent, holding back this world from you, frequently trying you with adversity and tribulation, know that you hold a great status with him. Know that he is dealing with you as he does with his alia and chosen elite, and is watching over you. Never have I dealt with anything more difficult than my own soul, which sometimes helps me and sometimes opposes me. Dear friend, your heart is a polished mirror. You must wipe it dean of the veil of dust that has gathered upon it, because it is destined to reflect the light of divine secrets. Often love between two people intensifies not because of beauty or some advantage, but because of sheer spiritual affinity. You must convince your heart that whatever Allah has decreed is most appropriate and most beneficial for you. Half of disbelief in Allah in the world is caused by people who make religion look ugly due to their bad conduct and ignorance whoever says that all music is prohibited, let him also claim that the songs of birds are prohibited. The happiness of the drop is to die in the river. To completely trust in Allah is to be like a child who knows deeply that even if he does not call for the mother, the mother is totally aware of his condition and is looking after him. Remember your contemporaries who have passed away and were your age. Remember the honors and fame they earned, the high posts they held, and the beautiful bodies they possessed. Today all of them are turned to dust. They have left orphans and widows behind them, their wealth is being wasted, and their houses turned into ruins. No sign of them is left today, and they lie in dark holes underneath the earth. Picture their faces before your mind's eye and ponder. Does money upset the hearts of learned men? He answered, Men whose hearts are changed by money are not learned each of your breaths is a priceless jewel, since each of them is irreplaceable and once gone, can never be retrieved. A human being is not a human being while his tendencies include self-indulgence, covetousness, temper and attacking other people the way to paradise is an uphill climb whereas hell is downhill. Hence, there is a struggle to get to paradise and not to hell. The hypocrite looks for faults, the believer looks for excuses. The corruption of religions comes from turning them to mere words and appearances. A man of bad character punishes his own soul. Do not dispute with anyone in any matter as far as possible. For in argumentation lies much harm and its evil is greater than its benefit. Whoever determines the truth from people alone will remain lost in the plains of bewilderment. Rather, know the truth, and you will know its people. When you have a bad suspicion about a Muslim in your heart, 
you should increase your consideration toward him and make dua for him. This way you will infuriate Satan and will be able to drive him away. Because of this, Satan will be reluctant to put evil thoughts into your heart, afraid that you would increase your consideration towards your brother and will make dua for him again. Knowledge exists potentially in the human soul like the seed in the soil, by learning the potential becomes actual. Whoever passes forty without his virtue overpowering his vice, let him get ready for hell fire. This advice contains enough for people of knowledge. Man's nature is made up of four elements, which produce in him four attributes, namely, the beastly, the brutal, the satanic, and the divine. In man there is something of the pig, the dog, the devil, and the saint. If those who do not possess knowledge avoid the scholarly discussions, disagreement will end. Neglect not your time, nor use it haphazardly, on the contrary you should bring yourself to account. Structure your litanies and other practices during each day and night. This is how to bring about the spiritual blessing, Baraka, in each period. If each of your breaths is a priceless jewel, be not like the deceived fools who are joyous because each day their wealth increases while their life grows ever shorter. If the first inward thought is not warded off, it will generate a desire, then the desire will generate a wish and the wish will generate an intention, and the intention will generate the action, and the action will result in ruin and divine wrath. So evil must be cut off at its root, which is when it is simply a thought that crosses the mind, from which all the other things follow on. People count with self-satisfaction the number of times they have recited the name of God on their prayer beads, but they keep no beads for reckoning the number of idle words they speak. In God, there is no sorrow or suffering or affliction. If you want to be free of all affliction and suffering, hold fast to God, and turn wholly to Him, and to no one else. Indeed, all your suffering comes from this, that you do not turn toward God and no one else. O youth, be assured that knowledge alone does not strengthen the hand, though a man read a hundred thousand scientific questions and understood them or learned them, but did not work with them they do not benefit him except by working, Knowledge is the tree, and working is its fruit, and though you studied a hundred years and assembled a thousand books, you would not be prepared for the mercy of Allah the exalted except by working. Remember it is the heart and not the body, which strives to draw near to God. By heart I do not mean the flesh perceived by the senses, but that secret thing which is sometimes expressed by spirit, and sometimes by soul. Are you ready to cut off your head and place your foot on it? If so, come, love awaits you. Love is not grown in a garden, nor sold in the marketplace, whether you are a king or a servant, the price is your head, and nothing less. Yes, the cost of the elixir of love is your head. Do you hesitate? Zero miser, it is cheap at that price. In the intricate paths of life when difficulties and hardships confront a man, and the darkness of difficulty and suffering becomes long, it is patience only that acts like a light for a Muslim, that keeps him safe from wandering here and there, and saves him from the muddy marsh of disappointment, desperation, 
and frustration. There are two kinds of riyah, showing off ostentation i.e. pure ostentation and adulterated ostension. In pure ostentation riyah a man does a good deed only for worldly benefit. In adulterated ostentation, a man does a good deed with the intention of reaping the benefits of the world as well as of the hereafter. Men have such a good opinion of themselves, of their mental superiority and intellectual depth, they believe themselves so skilled in discerning the true from the false, the path of safety from those of error, that they should be forbidden as much as possible the perusal of philosophic writings. No, O oh beloved, that man was not created in jest or at random, but marvelously made and for some great end. Although he is not form everlasting, yet he lives forever, and though his body is mean and earthly, yet his spirit is lofty and divine. Do not fix hopes on your health, and do not laugh away life. Remember how they walked and now all their joints lie separately, and the tongue with which they talked lightly is eaten away by the worms the mere physical man is like the ant crawling on the paper, who observes black lettering and attributes its production to the pen and nothing more. The soul should take care of the body, just as the pilgrim on his way to Mecca takes care of his camel, but if the pilgrim spends his whole time in feeding and adorning his camel, the caravan will leave him behind, and he will perish in the desert. <laughs>